Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares. Today I'm going to try and keep it very quick and show you how to add a tattoo to any character and how to add a custom tattoo. Um, we're going to look at word art today so you know some kind of any kind of wording that you want to add to that character so just go into your content and load up an actor. I'll just go into my packs very quickly and I'll load up a quick actor. Um, let's load up Kevin and uh, I'm doing this all in real time so just bear with me but I'm going to show you how simple and how quick you can start to add you know custom tattoos it will involve uh, Photoshop um, but it's not too uh, technical at all so uh, once we're in there we'll come here to Kevin's face and we'll just go to put you know a tattoo on his face or we'll try and put one on his chest <laughs> And what you're going to want to do is just come over into content and go into your items. So you can go, you know, packs and items. We want to go to the item section here because what you want to do is you want to come to your makeup tool here and you want to come down to your skin gen tools. Now you will need the skin gen uh, plugin. Uh, you can purchase that from Reillusion. And what you want to do is you want to find this little decal tab here and just drag and drop that onto your character. That's going to take a moment to load up. Um, now here you can see it's already being applied to the head you can apply it to the body arm leg also but we'll just um we'll leave it with the head for now and we'll just hit apply and as soon as that loads up you'll see it puts already um, you know some type of tattoo on that character's head now what you want to do is you want to simply come up here into um, this tab here, the little paintbrush. And this is where you can kind of then start to mess around with this and modify it. Now in this section here, the texture section, you can see the base color is the same tattoo that's on the character's head. And in the opacity map, you can see that exact same thing, but you know, just on a black background. Now, what you wanna do here is you wanna go onto your base color and just right click and then what you can do is you can click launch texture now if you've got photoshop uh, you just want to hit here okay and then if you've got photoshop as you can see that will load straight into photoshop now uh, what we want is this so i don't know it's loaded the uv reference you can close this this isn't relevant for now and then once you're here all you want to do is literally quickly just grab the paintbrush and you can uh, resize that and uh, what you want to do is just turn this section here, pick that, select, use the select tool to choose white, and just quickly paint over that. Now the reason that's um, made it look funny when it's done it is because the hardness was down, so if you put the hardness up and just that will ensure that you've got rid of any of that leftover paint. Now, what you can then do is you can add any custom text that you want, so just go up to your text tool and then you can just start to add your text. So we'll just iClone 3D and you're gonna to wanna to change that back to black here, just so you can see that text. Right, so we've got iClone 3D. So that's the first part done. Very simple, very, very easy to do. You just leave that there and then you wanna hit save file We'll save that as a PNG, a JPEG, sorry. And we'll just call that TAT1. Right, and I'll just save that in my documents. Okay, all right, and step two, what you wanna do is you just wanna do the reverse. So we're gonna want the background black and we're gonna want the text white. So very simple. We're just gonna wanna cl click on our background, come up here to the paint bucket tool and just change that to black. Click on your text. Then if we double click that, that should bring that up and then just change that back to white. And there we have it. And now what you wanna do is just save that. And we'll save that as tap two as a JPEG. And we'll just pop that in our documents there. 
and that's that done. So now if we go back over to Character Creator and we go back here into our texture settings, if we just double click on that base color, that will load up our documents and we can then load a different, a different texture in there. So if I click on that, you can see that's now turned white. And the reason that hasn't changed is because we haven't placed the opacity map yet. So that's why it's quite important that we do that opacity map. And we go back into our documents here. And once I add that, that should then change perfectly to iClone 3D, as you can see. Now, what you can do is you can come down here into your transform and you can just start to really scale that and you know get that kind of looking in proportion and just get it how you like. And then you can just, you know, offset it on the Y axis. And there we have a tattoo. Now, not many tattoos come out kind of this color on the skin. So we will have to kind of just mess about and amend that. And uh, one of the things we can also do is uh, if we mess around uh, with some of these functions down here, we can start to kind of, um, you know, just change the appearance of how that looks and how that blends in with the skin. Um, so here you want to not mess around with that. And then we'll just start to see, we'll just start to add the pigmentation back in uh, from the skin. And we can also mess around with the opacity so that's just not so predominantly and there you see as we start to bring it down to around 64, 65, that starts to look a bit more blended into the skin as you know a tattoo would look. So you just want to mess around with that until you just get it looking, you know, nice and blended in. And then we can also mess around uh, with the color. So if you come down here, we can um, start to play around and mess around with the color um, and the brightness, etc. Uh, so really to get that color effect, I think you want to turn the saturation right up and then you can start to see when you play with the hue here, it does start to change color. So we're just looking for that kind of nice little green, uh, slightly green tint that tattoos take when they're placed under the skin. So I think that might just do it. And you know, it's just really quick, but you know, you could play around with that until you get the right look, etc. But that is just a quick way of how to add kind of custom tattoos to your character. So I really hope that helps. I'll probably make another tutorial that uh, shows you how to add kind of different symbols or different kind of pictures as tattoos. Uh, this was just how to kind of add custom writing to your character. And I uh, really hope that, uh, you know, helped someone out there and see you again for another tutorial soon.